You are now listening to Hong Kong 2, the only podcast sanctioned by People's Republic of China, featuring Chris Lynch and Benjamin Taylor. Benjamin Taylor. That fry was kind of undercooked. Now I'm looking at I'm looking at something right now and <sighs> sex horn binding glob serum. What is this? Where are you where are you looking at this uh So my friend who shall remain nameless just for his own um privacy. Uh-huh. Um posted some medical shit. Yeah. And on Instagram. And one moment. I'm actually gonna do this. This is this is retarded. Uh sex horm binding glob. Sex hormone binding You keep glo- saying it glob- over and over. You, you- sex hormone binding globulin or sex steroid binding globulin is a glycos. <laughs> Oh, I just spilled water everywhere. Remember when you spilled beer everywhere? <laughs> Remember when you did the most retarded thing ever? <laughs> well, that wasn't actually supposed to happen. Usually, what did you think would happen? Well, ev- I've okay. So the the thing is, is I've done that many times. Recarbonating it? Not. It's not even like recarbonating. You said it carbonates it further. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Go on. I'm just saying, I don't know. I've seen it. It looks cool. It looks cool when you tilt it and then you turn it back over, and then yes, and I then agree. you slowly release it. Have you ever seen the video of the tor- of the guy? It's like a tornado. Yeah, when they do this, and they're like, and he's like, "I'll show you a tornado," and then he swirls his beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, "You need to go." <laughs> like into oh, the tornado. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's good. I, I I don't really know what that does to the beard. I suppose it would shoot. Like you could, it would it would have the same effect as if you just let it go. It would probably blast off at somebody. Yeah, um, I haven't done many beer physics experiments, besides besides drinking, drinking it, and drinking it, besides putting it upside down and watching it fall. Yeah, uh, but my original thing, the sex hormone binding globulin, is a glycoprotein that binds to androgens. And estrogens. What the fuck is it though? What does it's it do? It's something that you. Uh, it's like it's steroids, I think, or part of steroids stack. Okay, and uh, I just thought it was I. It was abbreviated and it was called sex horn glob. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's really, really weird. Mm-hmm. Would you ever take it? Probably. You would. I don't know. Would you ever take steroids? Probably not. I don't know. I think that opens once you open it. If first of all, I'm in no condition to take any steroids or anything close to that. Okay, but what if you took like? What if if I was fit? What if you got liposuction first and I was healthier? Yes. Then would you take them? What if you got liposuction? I guess. And then you weighed 150 pounds, and then and then somebody came up to you and was like, "Here, start injecting this. It'll make you ripped." Would you do it? I don't know. Don't you like if I, don't you if you do it for a while, you die when you're like sixty? Uh, or you're or you're all fuck. You have like weird at you have a weird belly. I mean, I'm sure. I think the risk of death is higher with people who do steroids, but the risk is also higher that they'll that you're look ripped cooler and you're, cool. and you're, yeah, ripped, that's true. you're ripped and you can it, be everyone's all, ass. It's all risk versus reward. Yeah. I mean, me personally, I've never. Ben, taken. you're ready to go. Me, I'm not on steroids. But, but you're ready to go. You're built up. To, you're like you're. You get your frame. You're not fat. You're. I'm not fat. Yeah, but I'm not big. I could be bigger. Let's get you on steroids. I could be a little bigger. Yeah, maybe I will. I don't know. You would, need a buddy. I would take a. You have to do it with someone. An accountability buddy to make sure I'm taking my I'll steroids. I'll get skinny. Okay. And then we'll start steroids. How long is that going to take for you to get skinny? ETA, a year. ETA, one year, one year, dude. I don't think I can wait a year. You know what I am gonna do, and the the viewers are not gonna believe me. What's that? I'm gonna do a seven day fast. Why would you do that? I've done a three day fast before. <laughs> are you Muslim? No, it actually is Ramadan. Yeah, that, well, I know that Muslims fast, we, and and the sun is set, so we're good for the corn dogs, but. <laughs> We're, wait, what? I said the sun has set. Do you know what Ramadan is? No. 
I mean, I it's, know it's like, a, isn't it a month where the they can't eat until the sun sets? Yes. There you go. Okay, so I do know what Ramadan is. Um, but I said the sun is set, so we're good for those corn dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have corn dogs we've been talking about all day. I'm talking about losing weight, and I immediately talked about corn dogs. Me and Chris corn have corn been dogs. talking about corn dogs since like 10 in the morning. Oh, by the way, do you want to um, talk about our sponsor? Hampton Farms. Yeah, guys. Um, we want to shout out the sponsor of today's podcast, Hampton Farms. Uh, extra crunchy peanuts, salted and roasted is what they sent us. Um, they're very good. Me personally, I'm not a big peanuts guy. I don't like the taste of peanut butter. But they're crunchy. You but, can't deny that they're crunchy. But I will say that they are they are pretty crunchy. Yeah, and also the box art. Um, you got a guy driving a tractor. So you know that they're employing people to, I mean, I'm not sure how the process of a peanut, how is a peanut even made anyways? Well, it grows from Hampton Farms. Does it? Peanuts are harvested fresh from the farm. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. So yeah, shout out uh, Hampton Farms. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for the peanuts. And they send us, uh, they send us like some merch they, too and shit. Yeah. They're great. Yeah, they, um, that was cool. They hit us up. They're fans. Anywho, um, Necrofa- Necro- necrophages hat. This necrophages hat. hat. Yeah, Chris went on a big. Chris lost his favorite hat at the fish tank, and then he wouldn't shut up about it. And so I went there and retrieved it, and uh, then I lost it again. And the whole time, it was right next to Chris's desk. Yes, this hat is cool because. I it's believe it's, a, it's official Necrophages merch, but Necrophages hasn't released an album in 20 years, but it's official merch. But they still drop merch, but they don't drop Pro- music. It's probably the label. Probably the label. But if it's official, it's for me, and it says Epitaph on the back, which is the last album. Do you, do Bro you, came into the scene. Do you wish that they would drop more music? Yeah, that would be like... um. That would be like law, like. That would be like if Elvis came back from the dead and made it like a mixtape. Who's better, Necrophagist or um, Meshuga? Meshuga. It's like almost like two. It's apples to oranges. It's apples to oranges. Yeah. It's almost like. Do you want a steak or do you want a burger? Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, I feel the same way. Meshuga is kind of like a burger. Yeah. And. Necrophages is like a nice steak. You almost said it sounded like you said the N word there. You said you said you said uh burger? No neck neck phages. <laughs> Try to bleep necrophages, that. yeah, bleep whatever <laughs> garble junk that was. I'm just saying it sounded Okay. Anyways. I know. Necro. Whatever. Yes, ne- necro. Oh, necro. Yes, necro. Necro. Necro is, is the root word for I don't know, it's probably Latin. Anyways, yeah, it is Latin, I think. I I personally don't listen to black metal music. It's a little dark. Yeah. And um black metal. Yeah, but it's just a little dark for me. The people um I understand. They yell very they yell loud and they play the music very loud and um the there's violence involved. Um people will people will swing their arms around and stuff and it's yeah. generally it's very vile it's, it's a very violent scene. Uh I'm more into the, you know, I, Sublime. you know, I like to sit back. I like to chill. I like to read the newspaper, watch the news. You like newspaper? Being sarcastic, but, uh, if I, if I, if I'm listening to music, it's usually to unwind. Can you shut that door? What door? So the, it's the, it's the door that's outside of the door. Yeah, I could shut it. Um, yeah, so what you do is open the door, and then you then that door, glass door. Now, you, what I want you to do is pull up very hard with both hands. Because, yeah. There you go. Yep. I know. Yep. Um, yeah. So what were we talking about? Uh, I don't know. We can move on. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, very happy about that necrophages hat. 
Uh, thank you, Ben. What if there is, is there any piece of clothing that if you lost it, you would be devastated? It'd be hard to recover from. I have one article of clothing that if I lost it, I would be very, very sad. I probably have a couple. I was actually thinking recently, there's two, two band t-shirts I had from high school that are missing. One is a, you can probably guess this one. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's, it was the blue mm-hmm. nothing album cover black t-shirt. Yeah. Great. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Another one, Cynic, Trace and Air. Another band t-shirt. I feel so self-indulgent by just talking about Did you ever band. wear like Nirvana shirts? Like and not listen to them? Yeah. Or, or What do you mean? Well, did you ever just wear like the Nirvana smiley face shirt? No. No, you never wore that? It's for drug dealers. No, no, no. It's for normal. It's I never wore it either, but I'm just I'm curious. Hey, did you ever wear the Sublime T-shirt with the with the, the sun? Yeah, with the sun. No. What well, What about that's a, for uh, that's for people who smoke weed. Bongs. What What kind of What was the most mainstream band shirt that you ever wore? Probably like a Slayer T-shirt. It's not. Is that is that mainstream? That was probably the most mainstream band. Mm. I don't even, dude. I wore retarded shit in high school. Yeah, me too. My mom bought me clothes. Like my my mom bought me clothes. I would be like, Mom, don't buy me a fucking T-shirt with a good. Uh, she bought me like a. I mean, but I mean. She's very nice, mm-hmm. but she would buy me like a because she knew I played guitar. I'm like right. 15. Right. She buys me a, a f- shirt with a guitar on it. Yeah, which is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> and I'm 15, and I'm like, uh, I guess like I had a job and I could buy clothing, but <laughs> I didn't. You know, she would buy clothing for me. Yeah, uh, you know, on occasion, like you know, just like a t-shirt. Well, that makes it easy. So that then, you but then get... I, I'm just look like a retard with a guitar on my shirt. I'm like, yeah, in cargo shorts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it an Ibanez? No, it was a Fender shirt. <laughs> it was a face. It wasn't even the guitar that you like. You want to know something crazy? Yeah. I didn't get my first Ibanez until I was like 21. Jeez. And it was an Ibanez Prestige in Galaxy Purple, and I still have that. If I lost that, you would I be, would be very devastated. You'd be very devastated. It's my first Japanese Ibanez. I've never... Uh, my first Ibanez was Japanese. I don't want this to be the Chris podcast. No, 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 no. It's okay. Uh, but we, my we first... And my first... Ibanez was a Japanese one, which is not typical, because that's the most expensive one. Mm-hmm. But as soon as I played it, I was like... Should have taken it to Japan. I would love if I go back to Japan, which I hopefully will one day. You bring your Ibanez with you. I'm not gonna bring my Ibanez with me. I'm gonna go to the Ibanez factory store, or whatever, and get one, get a J custom. Get it custom made. A J custom. What's that Japanese custom? That's one step higher than the Prestige, <gasps> and I've never gotten to. The, I see. I do. What do you mean? Do you mean you go to the factory and you get to bi- like? Pick I don't know how your- it works over there. I don't. I don't know who I gonna. <clears throat> yo, if anybody out there in Japan or has a hookup or knows anybody about Ibanez in Japan that can bring me, that can let me like buy something or do something cool Ibanez related in Japan, I would like. You would like I that. Would, I would like that a lot, and I would hook you up with like money or something. Do yeah. it. Japan's cool. Japan is cool. Would you rather? Do you like flying to Japan, or would you? Would I'd you, rather take a boat. I'd rather take a boat. What kind of boat would you want? Would you? Would you want? I hate flying, but would you? Would you take like a big? I do a cruise. You would do a cruise. Yeah, because then you have two vacations. One's the cruise to Japan, and then one's being. You Japan. don't want to. You don't want to experience like, like being on like a pirate ship, like sailing, like having That'd to navigate. Cool. You'd be the captain of the whole ship. Do you think if you were captain of a ship and you had to navigate to Japan from California, you could do it using a compass? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think so. You think you could? If my life depended on it, yeah. Okay. With a compass and a pirate ship from <laughs> from from, uh, from what? L.A. to Tokyo? 
yes. across the Pacific? <laughs> yes. Could you do it? You would have to sail. You know, I would try it. I've, I've, have you, you, ever, you, sailed, you have ever sailed? Have you ever, ever operated a sailboat? I've never operated a sailboat. No. I operated a sailboat. I've, I've operated a jet boat before. Yeah. Pontoon boat in Maine. That was great. That was pretty, that was pretty badass. Remember when I flung, I flung everyone off? Remember when Sick. I, remember when I lost my hat and I had to swim out to get it? Yes. And I almost died. I, I was like, and then Nick was like, why the fuck is this guy so concerned about this fucking hat? Yeah, I know. I should have just let you go. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. <laughs> it, would, it would have been understandable. Yeah. Oh, and I hope you guys liked the extra clips we put on the last page Patreon cut. There's a video of me dancing while I'm belligerently drunk out of my mind. Yeah. Uh, you can't really tell that you're, like, belligerent, though. I was belligerent. Because you're kind of just, like... Dancing and vibing. You're not, like, um, thrashing about. Oh, no, I wasn't thrashing. I was just feeling myself. Yeah. We're drinking the hard shit tonight, guys. I've got Poland Springs water here. And I have Polar Premium Seltzer. Naturally carb naturally calorie free. Uh, Look, see that's why I'm burping so much. Me and Pink apple and lemon. Me and Chris have opted to not drink tonight. Because yesterday was St. Patrick's yesterday Day. Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day and we drank a sufficient amount of alcohol. I would say a sufficient is a good word, yeah. Enough for two days. Now, what's a good St. Patrick's movie? St. Patrick's movie? This probably, I don't know. Leprechaun? It was, is Braveheart Irish? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Never, yeah, never seen it. I've never seen it either. Really? It must be good if Mel Gibson's in it. We should peep that. After the Dan Schneider doc. Uh, Dan Schneider, <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this. By the time this pod comes out, it will have already come out. But tonight, Dan Schneider documentary coming out on hbo max i'm looking forward to i think it's coming out like in minutes yeah yeah it is and, and um drake bell makes an appearance drake bell does make an appearance and uh um, i hope they i hope they got at least like a zoom call with F amanda Bynes. probably not no she probably holds dark truths the way i see it is if it's coming out on hbo max then there must be there must be some like there must be something that we're not gonna know, because they wouldn't let like they wouldn't let really gnarly shit out on HBO Max, would they? They wouldn't. Maybe I mean they did the Epstein shit, yeah, and it was gnarly. But I mean that information was already like available, public. but we get to watch it in like a lazy movie form. <laughs> I don't want to read about Dan Schneider's atrocities. I want to see it in a docu series. In a docu series. It's four parts. Perfect. Four part docuseries. I love, I'll give me the goy slop. Yeah, I know. Well, HBO Max knows how to do it. I I had to cancel my HBO Max account though. I can't. I think I literally canceled everything when I realized I had so much shit. Cause you forget you sign up for shit, bro. I checked my bank account. I had a twenty six dollar charge. I'm like, I'm like from Apple. I'm like the fuck. I'm like what could I have possibly gotten on Apple? I check HBO Max renewed. At like twenty five dollars, like yeah. yeah, that's gonna be a negative for me. Yeah, it's gonna be a negative. So I canceled that shit. Good, fucking crazy. I think I have HBO Max though. Do they even offer cable anymore? Can you still get cable? Yes, and you can get it actually through your smart TV, and it is. Is it? it is it? It's it's you you pay like. You can do packages. I did it for, for watching SNL when Shane Gillis was. Oh, uh, I see. And um, I did a seven-day free trial and then undid it. Nice. It was $100. Fuck. But I didn't charge because. Free trial. Free trial. But you, but that's, it's basically like cable. That's so expensive. $100 a month? Yeah, that's like the, the, the basic plan. Probably still has ads and shit too. Oh, yeah. It's cable. God, but bro. you know what's funny? What? Cable is called cable because it's just a reference to the cable. Isn't yeah. that kind of funny? Yeah. It's probably made by a retard, whoever invented that. Yeah. We'll call it your cable. That's like calling these like sit. Yeah, calling, <laughs> calling the, the couch, couch a sit. sit. Or a sitter. 
<laughs> Calling a vape a smoke. Vape is pretty accurate. Vape is accurate. Well, it's what, what is the term? Where does vapor. vape even come from? Oh, vapor. It's what it's vape. You're, we're vaping propylene glycol. <clears throat> Now, it's interesting. You don't ever see the instructions or the, not the instructions, the uh, ingredients. How to use? Oh, the ingredients? Yeah, because we're all going to die from Chinese bullshit. But that's why I was saying earlier, listen to this. Can I charge my vape before yeah, yeah. you start this next point? Do you have like a USB-C around here? Um, Actually, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's near where I dock the Steam Deck. Oh. No, sorry, I know it's a moot point, or that's a this is a sensitive point. Uh, uh, what you're about to say? No, mentioning the Steam Deck. Oh yeah, no, don't. Let's not talk about that. But um, the, here's my idea for a business: American-made craft vapes. Yeah, that could the craft disposables. Nice. They're a little bit more expensive. Yeah. But they're made in America with real ingredients. Yeah, sign me up. Made by Americans. Made by Americans. Yeah, I could see that. But how much would you pay for like a like a like a ten thousand puff? I mean, realistically, I'd pay like thirty five dollars if it had if it was American made and it was cool. What if it had like wood, like wood inside? Yes, yes, like wood siding. Yes, it would be it would be, be craft. It plays like a gun animation every time you hit it. Yes, but they would all have to be as disposable. Because what do you mean? Disp- like you can't recharge it? No, like you can't refill it. Oh yeah, no, fuck no. It's like one of these. Yeah, yeah, no. You refilling. Do you remember when they made rechargeable disposables? Rechargeable disposables. Yeah, like you remember, there used to be these, but they you couldn't charge them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like oh, once yeah. they were dead, they were dead. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? Oh yeah, I remember those days. They still sell some like that. I know that's like a bottom of the barrel though. It's pretty bad. I like the Ludos. They used to the lowest vape ever that you can possibly get is a Ludo. They had, used to sell Rick and Morty uh. skinned Ludos, and it was the the same deal where you couldn't charge it. So you'd hit it like, I remember once I bought one, I hit it like five times and then it just died. Jesus Christ. And I'm like, yeah, this is, this is what it's like to be dead. Ludo, Ludo, loser, Ludo, Ludo losers. Ludo is for losers. So that should be their tagline. Where'd you get that? The, the, the mobile? <laughs> I don't fucking remember. It's some bomb gas station. Got earwax on my shit. Nice. Um, Yeah. Anyways, enough about vapes. Enough about vapes. Let's gay. talk about my Steam Deck. Ben's. We talked about that. We, you're, we, you're, you're, we you're, talked about it, but I just want to update everybody. Okay, I shipped it out. Yeah, I'm playing with my <laughs> dick. Whatever. It itches. Go on. You sh- they know that you broke it, right? Yeah, I told you, I told them last pod that I broke it. You shipped it out. I shipped it out. It's arriving at the Steam Factory tomorrow. The Steam Factory. The Steam Factory. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what it's like working there. Like if it's just like Willie, like the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, where it's like maybe they only hire. No, it's the opposite. What do you mean? It's probably really bad. You think? Yeah. No, nah, it's run out of ca- in the yeah. states, bro. Oh, it's run in the states. It's run out of uh, Salt Lake City. Really? Yes. No the, way. Yes, the Valve Repair Center. It's in Salt Lake City. Oh, okay. That's, there's a good, good. Uh, Probably fucking G- good George. Mormons out there. What? George from um, George Burt, the guy who's going to be working on my Steam console, age fifty-eight. Wait, is this a, is this real info? <laughs> yeah. No, no, this is not real info. <laughs> hey, we're hey, I'm, I'm your I'm your Steam sales engineer. I'm going to be helping you. I'm gonna be as, I'm gonna be repairing your device. I'm gonna be taking care of you, Benjamin. <laughs> if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit up Steam Support and be like, "Is there any way I can get a voice call with my repair technician while he operates?" <laughs> can I just get a friend? <laughs> Calling Steam, be like, "Yo, 
I'm oh yeah, when I, I said in another pod, I was like, add me on Steam, and then I gave out my Steam, and everybody started adding me. Nice. So I just mass accepted everybody. What a good guy you are. And now I have now I have friends. A lot of people wouldn't do that. Well, a lot of people wouldn't give out their, and we'll give out Ben's number too. It's uh, let's eight not oh. let's not let's not do that. I know where it is. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry I can't play with anybody. Uh, even if I did add you on Steam, we can't play together because I'll only be doing emulation. Sorry. He's on my side now, guys. Sorry, guys. I got turned to the dark side. No, it's welcome to the light. The light side, you would say. My nose. Do you have buggers in your nose? <laughs> yeah. Um, long story short. Steam deck broken, getting fixed. No, long story short. No, no emulation. Jet and Ben called me a f- for emulating, and they said I was. Tr- Shawty, you can bleep those out, and now, now I am. Um, I'm, I'm teaching Ben how to find BIOS for the PlayStation Two, the BIOS files. I know it's pretty weird. Tables, I don't wanna, tables turn. Tables turn. Also today, I don't know if we could say it. I don't think it'll. Re- uh, what? The the DreamWorks thing. It's so fun. Now we can't say that. I don't think we can say it. I mean, we can say the word if we wanted to, but the the idea I think should be unspoken. Yeah, because it might end out. up becoming a reality. It needs to become real though. Who can make that? Um, probably tons of people Miles. in our group. Anyways, anywho. Ah, <sighs> god damn it. I need to fuck. Yeah, it's yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I've been enjoying life recently. Yeah, I've been enjoying life too. Life's good. I was kind of in a rut in the beginning of the year. How do you figure? Uh, I was like, I would just work and then come home late. And then just like, not do anything. Yeah. And like things are changing. I don't know. <laughs> this podcast keeps me alive though. Yeah, well. Yeah. And some people, you know, some people ask us, why do we do it? They're like, why do you even do that shit? And I will always think to one of our OG patrons, anorexic lover boy or angel I'm I'm butchering it, but you know the guy we met in Vegas. Right, right. We were on Vegas in whatever the fucking La La Land, Vegas, wherever we were. Um, some guy came up to us, and was like, "What did he say?" He said, "Well, he just said he recognized us from HK2, and which is crazy, which is pretty crazy." And then he gave us his merch. Yes, he did. He gave us both T-shirts. But he recognized us from HK2, which is really... That was nuts. Shouts out to you. Er, that was early in the HK2 it was timeline. Crazy. So very Weird. happy about that. And that's why we do it to this day because of him. I do it because it feels right. <laughs> yeah. It feels right. It's the right thing to do. It is the right thing to do. And I like you. I like chilling, talking to you. Yeah. We have good conversations. Well, let's, not, let's, not, let's, not, let's not break the fourth wall too much right now. It's still a show. Yeah, it's still show. There's yeah. no camera there. There's yeah. just you're just you're just there. The cameras are weird. How do they do that? Um, I don't fucking know. I know it's Same I know it's idea. like a mirror or some shit. I don't know, but it's if you showed a camera to a Aboriginal person who hasn't seen nothing, mm-hmm. they might freak. You know? Yeah, obviously. Like, what do you, what happens when a Chimpanzee has an iPhone and then goes on selfie mode. Would he freak? Yeah, yeah, of course he would. Would he rip my penis off? <laughs> the chimp? Yeah, they do that. You know that? What chimps rip off dicks? Yeah, like they'll. I've heard that a, a chimp in the wild to so other chimps when they're fighting, they'll like rip their dick off. Like two male chimps, if they're like fighting over whatever, a One female. Will, Possibly a female, they'll literally rip their dick off. Their own dick or the other one? No, the other person's dick. 
Uh, if they ripped their own dick off, that'd be kind of funny <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, <laughs> that would be. But no, I'm pretty sure chimps can rip like our limbs off. Like, oh yeah, easy. Like, like nothing. I don't oh. want to turn into the Joe Rogan podcast. No, right yeah. Now, let's not even talk. Can about I get, can I grab a Hamptons? Can I grab a Hampton Farms? Yeah, extra let me grab one food? first. Speaking of um, speaking of uh, chimps, I saw the new Godzilla movie that came out in 2017. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was watching it the other night in my in my bedroom, and uh, it stars like John Goodman. And uh, fuck, I'm gonna have to walk this over to you because I can't oh, close the cap. Careful. Thanks. And um, it's Godzilla movie. It's called it's called like Skull Kingdom or some shit. Mm-hmm. Probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life. School Kingdom. Skull. Oh, we probably shouldn't eat on the bar, guys. Really? I'm gonna eat one more peanut and then I'll, I'll resume. All right, I'll f- I'll finish this and I'll. I'll Sorry, to... we'll put this uh, product right here. Anywho, Sean. Sorry, right, guys. Me and Chris had to take a peanut break. Hampton Farms, extra Cur- crunchy. Of Hap- Hampton Farms, extra crunchy. What are these? These are sourced from. Virginia, the Virginia Super Extra Large. This, this is the Virginia Super Extra Large variety, and you get eight grams of protein per serving. Pretty good. More than any other nut. Oh, pause. That's nuts. All right. So, anyways, you watch a shitty movie with John Goodman. Yeah, it's called King Kong Skull Island, and um, it's like. I'm getting a FaceTime for my mom. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm I'm doing the podcast right now. You are? Yes. Cool. Okay. Am I on? Uh you're not you're not live. No, there's Ben. Hi. Hi, Hi Chris's hey, mom. How's it going? Good, how are you? It's clean. Looks kind of clean in there. Yeah. It is clean yeah, in we, there. We cleaned up. Is it cool? Wow. If, is it cool if we include your conversation, your audio on onto the ed- episode? Sure. Okay, great. Um, I no, makeup on. no, you're fine. Uh, can I call you later? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. All right. Love you very much. Bye bye. Right. I love you too. Bye bye. That's my mom. Yeah, shout out, Mrs. Lynch. And shouts out Ben's mom who gave me a twenty dollar Panera Bread gift card. Yeah, and she gave me some Panera oh, gift. Oh, dude! And we ran it down immediately. Is it close? Uh, it's probably close. Oh no! Oh no! We're oh, oh, it closes in thirty minutes. No, we got corn dogs for good. We'll get we'll get Panera for breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast? Yeah. Ooh, Panera for breakfast would be I'm bomb. St- Panera used to be good. Panera was better 20 years ago. Or, yeah. Remember Quiznos? I do. Quiznos was fucking awesome. I think I've only been to Quinza, Quin, Quidnos. Quidnos. I think I've only been to Quidnos um, once in my life. Or zero. Really? Only once? We didn't have a lot of them around here. And they were short-lived. <clears throat> Bro, Quiznos was a lot better than Subway, I'll tell you that much. Yes. But now, we know what reigns supreme now. Jersey Mike's. Mike's. Although, I will say, D'Angelo's, they'd be toasting their buns sometimes. You can ask for their buns toasted. I wonder if Jersey Mike's can toast a bun. Pause. Possibly. Um, Can you look that up? No, no. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, let me um, look that up. What? Yeah, let me look that up right now. <laughs> I'm looking it up. You she's looking it up. You think one day we'll have the uh the the Neuralink thing where we just like uh where I just go like, like does Quiznos have or whatever. Oh like, yeah, where we just think about it and we can pull up a browser tab. Yeah. I think so. I mean I think that's possible with the new Apple headsets. Yeah, but I think you have to uh touch it. Like you can't think of it. Like, oh, like truly... you can't control it with your eyes. But like I'm, I was talking, saying... about, I'm talking about thinking it. Oh, thinking it, and I'm then th- just I'm talking it. about like I'm thinking about like, talking about like. That's there. That'd be cool. 
I don't know if that'll be good for society though. Yeah, most people will just be watching porn all day. Everyone. Well, also, if you have intrusive thoughts. Oh yeah, like how to get away with this. Yeah, or you're driving your car and like you're like send send threat to school, and it does, and then but you're like no 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 wait, you just have an intrusive thought. Yeah, automating Siri. Oh, I thought I thought of a funny joke the other day. Having instead of like you giving Siri a name, like you tell Siri to call. Or you call you have to ask Siri if it's okay if you call her master. Because people will be like, Siri, call me address me as master. So what if will, you, will she do that? What if you make Siri only respond to master? Will she do that? So so instead of saying, Hey Siri, you can go, Hey master. Will she do that? Let's see. Also, calling her she is weird to me. Siri, can I change your name from Siri to something else? You can do that? No, no, no. Siri, will you respond to any other name that's not Siri? Oh, fuck me. What? You can change how I say people's names now. Siri, can I call you? All right. Uh, Siri will not do cool things. Yeah, I tried to get Siri to... Um call you master. To, to, to no, 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 to answer to master. So, if, so it, for instance, I would hold down the side button. I would go, "Hey, master," or I could do, "Hey, bitch," or I could do like, uh, you know, just another yeah. Other things. I don't think the technology's there. I'm sure it is. Oh yeah, well, it's not for you. <laughs> it's not for me to have. Yeah. I would call her. I would give Siri a cute little nickname, like Peanut. Peanut. <laughs> hey, hey like Peanut. Hamson, like Hamden Farm. Hey Peanut, and then she pops up. <laughs> peanut. I would if I had a girlfriend. I would call I would call her Peanut as one of her pet names. Really? Especially if she had a small head. If I had a pet name. Hey Peanut. Hey Stinky Peanut. Stinky Peanut. I like Stinky. Stinky as a pet name. You call girls Stinky. Yeah, that's fire. Stinky. I don't care if it's outdated. That's fire. Okay. Well, yeah. that's my fave. I call I call him you little thing. What? I call him I call him you little. Th I say, get over here, you little. Now you're making it sexual and weird. No, 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 you little. Like, not like, not like they're a little, you know, like in a sexual ben. way. And I'm just saying, like. You're like, naughty. I'm going to say, you little fucker. You don't know what I'm going to say, you little bitch. Get over here, Ben's you little. Na Ben's naughty. Let's go. I punch him. <laughs> Sam said something super funny today on the podcast. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if I want to say it because this might come out before the PGL episode. Now nah, I'm not going to say it. Just save it. No, save it. You'll see it on PGL uh, soon. When's the last time we said something super funny? We? Yeah, you and me on our pod. Honestly, I think the funniest thing that was ever said on this podcast was me describing the Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, yeah, the, thing. The, the Japanese torture. The, yeah. Um... There's other ones. If there's anybody out there who um, is is in, into clipping and into archiving, find the loudest laughter moments of this podcast. If I if I can get a reel of all the loudest laughters, we could probably like do something with that and like be like, yo, like show it to show it to uh, sponsors and be like, yeah. yo, hardest laugh compilation. This podcast gets laughs. Mm -hmm. But laughs might not necessarily translate to Y'all should film yourselves laughing. Like, like film... Yeah, like film, film, your, your, film yourselves watching the podcast and then and laughing. laugh and laugh at the funny parts. But in a genuine way. And the best... <coughs> the best laughter video will get merch. Best laughter video gets merch, yeah. And, um... Is that, it has, is that practical? It has to be genuine laughter. Yeah, we don't is even it, have merch. To how give. do we even know if, if? First of all, what merch we, are we? We, we don't have merch. We yet. don't have any merch to give do you guys. Do we? Okay, here's a question for the viewers. Do you guys want a quick logo on a shirt that is fulfilled by someone else and is like okay quality, or do you want a 
high quality shirt for more money. They want the high quality shirt for more money. You think so? Yes. yes they don't sir. want some like they don't want red some bubble fucking shit? printify red bubble bullshit. No. We have to get actual Yeah, you're right. We have to we have to do it right. Because I would do the Kanye move and I'd be like, everything's twenty dollars. No. No. That's not my Kanye impression, by the way. Guys, I don't know we, what that was. Yeah, that was like a Jam- that was like Jamie Foxx. Oh yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't know that what was a, that, that was a Jamie Foxx impression. Well Jamie Foxx would fuck with us. Totally. Jamie Foxx would fuck with us, you think? Like he would like us. He would like our company. He would like our co- he would enjoy our company. Yeah. We have a lot in common with Jamie. Uh, I call him J Mo. You call Jamie J Mo? Yeah. You're on a first name basis with him? Well his his full name is Jameson. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The Jamie Foxx is an interesting character. Singer, actor. Black guy. Black guy. The man who just has it all. Yeah. Now, if if Jamie Foxx mm-hmm. was uh, Chris Rock and Will Smith came up and tried to smack Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx would have probably shot Will Smith dead. And go Super Saiyan. Yeah, he probably would have. He would have shot Will Smith before he even got in his flies. Little Smith. Lil Smith. I thought you said Lil Smith. No, Will Smith. We should call him Lil Smith. We should start calling him Lil Smith. What's now, when Ash went to go capture a Pokemon, why did he? Why would? Why would he? Why would he do this? I would flip his hat around. Is that a? Is that kind of like a fourteen sort of thing? Yeah, I think that's what. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hitler used to flip his. Uh, Hat to the side. His That's what I'm the, saying. Hitler That's used to I'm flip saying. his hat to the side. So I would be, and and who, who were allies with Nazi Germany? Japan. So guys, I'll let you guys figure that. One. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The f- Ash Ketchum doing. <laughs> He's a Nazi. Secret, Ash, for, secret po- Pokemon's actually a Nazi show. Nazi Pokemon show. actually takes place during World War II. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's why if that's why in the background, if you look really closely at the first season, you can see And that and when we nuked Japan, it made all these mutant creatures. Pokemons. Yeah. Yeah, that's when Pokemons Hello. were invented. Oh my Pokemon's god. Pokemon's real and they're Nazis. Anyways. Pokemon are real and they're Nazis. <laughs> Catching a this Nazi. Like, what if you caught a Pokemon but it was a Nazi? And you and you had to like you it Nazi was Mon. Like, Nazi Mon. Yeah. Yeah, what it's would it, what would his four Nazi moves be? Well, he'd be his new his new type would be Nazi. He'd be mm. a Nazi slash rock type. Nazi <laughs> <laughs> Nazi slash rock. Yeah, and then he would he would be strong against the new Jewish slash psychic. Yes, let's yes right yes. Let's the move on. <laughs> Jew Pokemon versus Nazi Mon. Yeah, Jewmon. Or you could have a Palestinian poke. All right. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. What, what, if you were a Pokemon, which Pokemon would you want to be? Lynchimon? You'd, you'd want to be Lynchimon? I'd, I'd make him a new one. Wouldn't you make your own? Or would you... I think... You know what I think is cool, Pokemon? Onyx. The oh. rock snake thing. Yeah. When Onyx. I saw that as a kid, I was like, whoa. You wanted it. Life's about to be cool. You're like, I want that thing. I was like, when I was like eight years old and I saw that, I was like, you know what? Maybe life Le- isn't life all Life is going to be pretty cool. Yeah, you're like, you know what? Maybe life won't all be bad. Yeah, life's, life's probably going to work out for me. I saw Onyx and I was like, shit's, like, shit's about to get chill. <laughs> shit's about to get chill. Yeah. Well, I'm going to emulate that bullshit when I get my Steam Deck back. <laughs> emulate that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Calling shit you enjoy bullshit is great. Uh, I didn't mean to say it like that. No, it's funny. It's a wonderful game. Now, Roku City has a weird perspective. See the stairs? See how it's going towards the right? Right. But then the side of the building is a completely opposite perspective. Doesn't make any sense. Um. Yeah, it's a little bit... It's. I don't think this was made by professionals. No, it was not made by people who understand perspective. But it doesn't matter because this is just for. This is for retards. This is for goys. Yeah, this is for goys. I, I use the word goy very ironically. Yeah, no, you don't. I, I, I don't even want to have to explain myself with that. You can but, explain yourself though. Well, yeah, I don't. I think people knew that I was using it ironically. 
I found out the other day I was Jewish. And yeah, it, it put, Ben's Jewish, guys. It put a real arrow through my heart because this whole time I thought I was Northern European. Turns you, out, are you not proud of your Jewish heritage? Well, it turns out I'm actually full is full, Israel. Full is full is real. I may as well be Ben Shapiro. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean um, you're already halfway there. His name is Ben. <laughs> but so, um, well, I think you should embrace your Jewish heritage and culture and. Um, the only thing is, is I just don't want to. I don't want to wear a yarmulke. You don't have to. I think I'm gonna wear a yarmulke. You don't have to. Are you gonna go back to the motherland? No. It's your birthright. No, I don't think I will. I'm joking. I'm not Jewish. Yeah. Was that believable? <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, I wanted you to keep going and like never say it. Never ever stop. Yeah, but I mean, should I just keep the Jew rumor going? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Maybe. I am Jewish. He is Jewish. That was a, he was kidding about. I was kidding. kidding. I had a I had a I had a, me. I had a me. I had a moment there, but I I actually am Jewish. I did my twenty three and me? Him. It's whatever. It's all it's it's all good. I just you know I'll have to find some find nice out. Jewish nice Jewish lady to settle down with. Yeah. Anywho, big news. Um, I I was I kind of want to do a twenty three and me. I know that they send your your genes to. Uh, CRISPR laboratories or whatever, but you'd be one hundred percent rock and roll. Yeah, I'd probably break the system. They'd probably say error. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I know my parents' shit, but I look different. I, I look like my parents combined, but I look. I I you look different. I don't know. I want to know if I have any like Scandinavian in me because I think Scandinavia is cool. What do you want to go there at some point? Yeah, I mean, I. T- Iceland is technically Scandinavia, and I went to Iceland for a day on a layover, and that shit was cool as hell, man. What, Iceland? Yeah. I ate, I ate three hot dogs in the airport. They had The airport had this hot dog stand. It was just very strange. Iceland, Icelandic hot dogs? Yes. Isn't that strange? Were they cold? No. <laughs> <laughs> but they had, like, crispy onions... You know, like crispy when yeah, onions yeah, yeah, are like yeah. crispy, they're like crunchy. Oh, yeah. uh, they had that and this like mustard based like mayo that was kind of sweet. Mm. It was strange. It was smacking though. Mm. But all the other food in the airport was like weird Icelandic, like shark jerky and fucking. I just had an idea. Raw fish. What if you cooked a corn dog? And cut an incision down the center of it, opened it up to reveal the meat, cut off a, a tiny bit of the top bread to reveal just the bread and the wiener, remove the stick, then you put ketchup, mustard, and pickle relish atop, and you've got <coughs> you've got yourself a hot dog. Oh. Interesting. Think about it's that. It's like a hot dog with a corn dog bun. Hot dog with a corn dog bun. You can call it a corn dog, no stick. What do you do with the re- What do you do with the, the the extra bread? You put it in a in a bowl and you mush it. Down. <laughs> you mush it and then you make more. You corn mush dog. it, put it, roll it into a ball, and then you have loaves of bread, and then you have little. And then you just have the corn. And then you just have <laughs> corn. Yeah. No dog. What do we do with those wieners? What wieners? The little the baby minis. ones. They're in the fridge. Yeah, but what do we, uh, I want to? What, what are we gonna do with them? Yeah. We're gonna have to find some kind of pastry to wrap them in. Do you have pastry? No, no don't. I don't have pastry. Can I make my own dough? Probably not. Do you have dough ingredients here? It might I have flour. Might be too much effort, frankly. Frankly. At this hour. You like that, frankly? Frankly. Be a hot dog. Anyways, um, I I don't mind corn dogs. I'll live. And we have the pizza. We have the pizza. Great value. Should get into some Steam Deck tonight. Of course. After the Dan Schneider doc. After oh yeah, that's right. I totally forgot we're gonna watch the Dan Schneider doc. If the Dan Schneider doc's mid as fuck, we can go straight to Steam Deck. Well, I don't know how mid I mean, I don't know. Give it a shot. We'll see. I'm, I'm easy. Hope, to, I'm, I'm easy hoping to it's good. Nickelodeon's probably going to be dealing with a bunch of lawsuits pretty soon here, so well, what about Dan? Isn't it just Dan? 
Wait, is Dan? Is there no, be no, a- no? There's another guy named Brian Peck, who's mm. like the, a dialogue coach. Is it Josh Peck's dad? No, uh, just he's just some fucking random pedophile that Nickelodeon hired. Um, <laughs> he's in the pedophile department. He's, he he was hired into the pedophile department. Uh, um, so. But I'm sure I'm sure every kid in Nickelodeon was molested at one point. Uh, every kid? Probably every kid. Except for the ugly ones. They were like, yeah. Nah, they... You think they took the ugly ones, too? I think they just... I mean... They didn't discriminate? They're, I mean, think about it. They're... The, the, the real pedos are like, okay, we have, the sh- we have the network, we have the shows, we have the actors. They're, they're like, right... They don't care. Yeah. They're like... Let's use every opportunity we can with all these kids. They're fucked. Yeah, they are. It's so it's so taboo and illegal that it's just fucked. They'll just you know, it's like it's like yeah, it's just fucked. Well, we'll find out tonight. Hopefully, if it's a good docu docu series. Would you ever? Do you wish that you were a Disney star? <laughs> I think you're gonna say something. <laughs> what do you think I was gonna say? <laughs> what do you think I was gonna Would you ever? F- <laughs> <laughs> Shawty got that out. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, what if you were a Disney star instead of like? The, if I was a Disney star, like I would try life. hard not to get. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> to get molested. Yeah, I would try my darndest. <laughs> what would you do if? What would you do if Brian Peck came to you and he's like, "Hey, Chris, come into my office." He's like, come into my office alone. You know what? I don't know what I do, but you know what? That could have been you, bro. Could have been. Because Ben has an ex- Ben has a history with child acting. A history. I used to act as a child. I was into the theater. Were you in any fil- any films? Never in any films. I did. Wouldn't pl- that be dope though if you did were? plays? I want I if if you had an IMDb with uh, something from like two thousand and five. That'd be crazy. Were you, were you reborn? 99? Yeah. No IMDb for me. Well, you have one now. Now I have one, but that's because of Fish Tank. Yeah. But if you had one from like oh. the early 2000s, like you you were like child number four child number in four. background. Benjamin Taylor. Yeah, that, that would have been cool. Oh, well, though. Would you have been Benjamin Taylor? Or we gone by like a stage name? I would have been like Benjamin Bush. Ben W. Bush is just my fun name. That's my name I use when I'm having Ben's fun. last name is Taylor, by the way, guys. It's not Bush. Yeah. I mean, I think people know that by now. I put Benjamin Taylor in my Instagram bio. Really? Yeah, just to clear things up. I wish Cop and Mimi. Yeah, well, I, I mean, if you're known as Chris Lynch, I want to be known as Benjamin Taylor. But you I, should keep your... You got to keep your... I'm, I'm your never changed. I'll good, always good. be Ben W. Bush. Good, good. Yes, but my but my give, my give my legal My name, given name. My given name. Is Benjamin Stoipenstein. Benjamin Goldberg Taylor. <laughs> Benjamin Steinwill. Oh my god. I looked up the I looked up like uh some some like Jewish shit on Twitter, like who's the prime minister of Jewland. The yep. guy's name is Sh- Shlo Shloimo. Yeah. It's his first name is Shloimo. Yeah. It's a pretty pretty crazy name. It's an interesting name to say the least. I, I will say the Jewish last names happen to be very interesting. Imagine walking up to like an Americanized Jew and he's like, hi, my name's Shloima. I'd be like, oh, like the electronic artist, Shlomo? <laughs> you, know what Shlo- you know Shlomo? No. Oh, he's like a musician. <laughs> but, uh. Shloima. Well, that's just like saying slow-mo in a funny way. Shlomo. Hi, dude. my name is Shloimo Goldberg. I'll be handling your real estate today. I'll be handling your real estate today. <laughs> I'll be I'll be handling your investment today. Why would you assume that he's in into that? Why wouldn't you assume he works at McDonald's? Well, I'm Shloimo Goldberg. That's what I got my degree in finance. Okay. Now let's Carry take on. a look at your assets here. We're gonna go ahead and liquidate a couple of these. And, thank, uh, you, thank, thank you. Can I call you S for short? Sure, sure. All my clients call me S. S. So I'm going to go ahead and liquidate these two accounts here. And this is my account over here, you see. Okay. So I'm going to move about, I'm just, this is my flat rate. I'm going to move my flat rate from these two liquidated assets into my account. And the rest. Oh, you're stealing my money? (laughs) (laughs) 
Don't do that. That's not nice of you. S. <laughs> uh, I, would hate, I would hate working at a bank. Yeah, we're going to be rich one day, Ben. You think? I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure. Rich in, rich in, we'll, we'll be, we'll we'll be we'll rich in life, that's for sure. That's for sure. We'll be rich in health, hopefully. We'll be rich in hell. No. Just kidding. We're not going to hell. Chris, we're going to live we're going long, to heaven. We're going to live long, fruitful lives. And go to heaven. We're going to go to heaven. Do you think they'll let us in? How strict are they with heaven? You know, I think as long as you have a good heart. Yeah, we'll be good. I think if you have a good heart, they'll let you in. Yeah. I have a good heart. My heart's not black. Black My Heart. That's a band. I think it, or a song. I would make, if I had a metal band, I'd name it Black Heart. Black Heart? Yeah. If I had a metal band, I'd call it. Black Heart's such a good name. It's like so classic. And like, gr- and like, girls would be like, yeah, well, listen to Black Heart. Heart. Are you emo? Uh, yeah, I'm the lead singer of Black Heart. Oh, come with me. And then come they're, like, they're like, they're like, can you sing one of my songs? And I'd be like, what? <laughs> fuck. fuck. I'd be like, fuck. Fuck. Black is the night is dark. Light is the day is night. Not. I could write metal music. Okay, we'll do it tonight. You should write some Doors music. You and the fucking Doors. We should write some What's trip- the Doors guy, Morrison? Yes. What's his first name? Jim. Jim Morrison. He's cool. Not to be confused with George Harrison. Yeah, the fucking idiot from the Beatles. The idiots and the Beatles. The Beatles are full of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> What's the least idiot? Ringo? Uh, the least idiotic person of the Beatles was probably whoever left the band first. So George Harrison, I guess. Yeah. George Harrison. Who's left? Paul Paul McCartney and Ringo? Yeah. Um, John, I don't even want to say his name. <laughs> Why do you hate John Lennon so much? he's a fucking homo. <laughs> he sucks. What about Yoko? Yeah, she's... Is she the reason? I like Yoko, I know. You like Yoko, but you don't <laughs> like... You're like... I'm actually... I just hate John Lennon because he stole Yoko Ono from me. Damn. She's still she's still alive, you know. Yeah. I'm going to get... I'm Unlike gonna, Ronnie Coleman. Dude, shut up. I thought I got... I got my facts crossed. I was thinking of Rich Piana. Very different guys, but no shit. We should watch some Rich Piana clips. Yeah, we gotta get a setup like uh, to watch clips. I don't think we do. I think we just get lazier if we have. <laughs> if we have, no, because we have it right here. Yeah, but that's like that's bo- that's what Joe Rogan does. Don't you want to just talk? Wait, yeah. you don't like talking to me? No, nah, but that but the clips might the clips might add a whole other element, a whole different dimension. Yeah. What do you guys think? Should we start watching clips? Let us know in the Patreon comments, which you guys don't really comment a lot on. Yeah, y'all, y'all don't really. We'll look on the YouTube because this is the YouTube cut. So, are we gonna get that one guy on the show who keeps saying that he wants to come? Yeah, on? we well, we told him he's invited, and um, I gotta check the comments. All right, guys, thanks for watching episode twenty-two. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting up. The road and to 100. Going to 100. Going to 100, guys. Um, We're almost at a quarter of the way there. Yes, this is crazy. It's, it's crazy. And we love you. We love you guys. And, and we want to so kiss you. Awesome. And we, and hope you're lo- uh, we hope you're healthy and I'm gonna happy. We're going to kiss you now. We're going to kiss you now. I'm going to kiss you now. In the Patreon, we're going to get real nasty. Real nasty on real the Patreon. Nasty. You get the kiss. Patreon gets a little something else. You don't <laughs> yeah. get to know. Uh, yeah, baby. All right, bye. All right, bye.